Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Conan Exiles. Some exciting stuff is about to go down today. We're back at the Fireball Cauldron. If you remember from the last episode, we really need to take a look at some of this war paint, which means we're going to have to get some fur, which also means we're probably going to have to go up to the north because that's usually where the first stuff is. Unless they've changed that, I'm not really sure. But when I went and killed that tiger, didn't drop anything besides feline pelts. So, ergo, I think we're going to have to go up here. Probably so. Is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. It's about time we, we start to check out this little section of the map. We also need to start checking out this section of the map as well. Because I have not spent much time around here. I know what this area looks like. I know what this area looks like. I'm familiar with this area all in here. But I'm not really familiar that much with anything past the Salt Lake. I've been here a couple times. I'm kind of familiar with this area. So much has changed. I don't even know if the landscape looks the same. Are there the same level of animals? What do they drop? Are there new things? I don't really think there's anything new besides, say, like, the tigers and, like bigger bosses that I've yet to actually see yet, except for the Kappa guy. Doesn't really matter. Either way, we're going to have to go up there. Something that I'm kind of concerned about. I guess concern is, is a good word. <laughs> I can't figure out which one of these war paints I want to do. So there's accuracy, there's agility, there is determination, strength, grit, support, vitality. There's all these different ones that I could do. Here's my problem, though. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inventory. Under attributes. Okay, here we go. So, I might have to re-roll. Is that a big problem? No, it's the Lotus Potion, which I can do in the Cauldron. That's fine. But here's the deal. I probably have put a whole bunch of points into this that I didn't necessarily need to do, like accuracy. I probably shouldn't have done that. I wasted all those points there. I just got everything to level one and said, let's just keep going. Well, with those war paints, they're going to give me bonuses and other things. So, say I wanted to do strength, it would boost strength up. I don't know how much, to be honest with you. But vitality is already relatively high. Now, I want passive health regeneration. That's tier 3. I think that's probably going to be the most important. But then there's like down here, where tier 3 is you gain a natural resistance to damage. That's cool too. Encumbrance, obviously, the tier 5 is when you're over-encumbered, you can move at full speed. What? You can run at full speed? Full encumbered? You know how amazing that would be? We like to build. I like to build. This is great. But I'm pretty sure I wouldn't be able to really get anything else if I had to bump that up all the way up. I don't know. We'll see. We still have 12 levels left. I've got 8 points left that I can spend right now for this level. So I'm thinking that I don't know what I want to do, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Encumbrance is okay. I've got a long ways to go before I'm tier three on that one. I'm closer to this one, so I should probably pump it into vitality. But then there's uh, agility. Falling damage is halved. And then also tier five, jump while in air to do a second jump. What? You know how helpful that would be? Ah, okay, we're just gonna do that. But I've got some time to think about it because we gotta head up north i am pretty much got all the things that I need. I I think I might need to... Oh, yeah, let's go ahead and drop this meat off in the compost bin so we can make a little bit more compost. If I see more seeds, I need to start gathering some. I've got some desert berries in here, but there was no compost. That's going to be really, really... Actually, there was compost. How did I not even think about that? Wait, hold on. Oh, that's right, because we don't have any of the seeds. We have the berries, but not the seeds. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, let's go ahead and grab a couple of these stamina potions because they seem to be a lot better than I originally thought they were. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Ah, it's been nice to not have the rain. Ooh, my first sign of wolves, creatures, in the rain. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we can live with that. It's been nice not having it down south, but hey. Oh, Mr. Wolfie, okay. Come here, buddy. Yeah. Can we get you? Oh, dude. I kind of want to see, you were so much easier. <laughs> I remember when these guys were such a pain. Wolf pelts. Ah, uh, I need fur, not wolf pelt. And if it's anything like the feel, oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. Chop, 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 baby. Chop, chop, chop. That is like no damage whatsoever. I would have never been able to do this in medium armor. 
before the update. Wow. That is insane. I love that. Can I get the... Oh, fur. 14. Hey, I've got enough for that. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to gather as much as I possibly can. Let's go ahead and use this little combo. So nice little wolf up here. You know what? Can I grab some... Oh, hey, there we go. Some seeds. Perfect. That's going to be great for different dyes. Since this takes a little while to get all the way up here. Come on, die, puppy dog. Die. Oh, yeah, right in the face. Ooh, you done, son. You are done. Wolf pelt, wolf pelt, wolf pelt. Crap. Uh, what is this? False mandrake? Nice. Can I get some false mandrake seeds, please? Anybody? Anybody? False mandrake seeds. Okay, here we go. Shield out. Bam. I feel like... There's not as many creatures up here. There was a time when this entire north area was completely covered in wolves and bears and boar and everything else known to man that was new to the game. They were all over here. I've yet to see a single base. Kind of surprising. Uh, you know what? I think we should probably go check out our old, our old build spot. I think that might be nice. And I'm pretty sure all this wolf pelt is only going to give us regular hide. I'm pretty sure. But there's bound to be more over here. Oh, gosh. I don't know. We'll see. Let's just keep going this direction for a little bit. Hmm. Oh, it's elk. Here we go. I wonder if they're going to run away. I don't think so. The elk kings used to be the only ones that were aggressive, and then they changed. Oh, there's an elk king over there. See it up against the rocks? Let's go ahead and kill this guy. Bam. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah. You're mad now, sucker. Skinny knife. Ooh, yes! Fur! Oh, 112. Perfect. Let's uh let's go ahead and kill this guy. And they'll kill that elk king up there. Yeah! This is gonna be good. Crap! It'd be better if I didn't die. Oh, that barely did any damage. What am I worried about? This is kind of almost cheaty. <laughs> what would happen if I was wearing really, really good stuff? Wow. Hmm. Okay. Well, Elk King, let's go ahead and go. Bambi is probably not going to be bothered by me. That's fine. Where were you again? You were... Hmm. I don't remember. Oh, there you are. Oh, I got to watch out for bears, though. I feel like that, out of anything, could be bad. Hello. Die, sucker. Bam. Bam. Okay. A little bit more aggressive, and it's... Oh, it's just a regular wolf. I thought it was a white wolf. Woo! Ah, got me a little worried there for a second. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Wow. This guy's actually a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. This is heavy attacks with an ancient two-handed sword. Really? Well, bright side. I'll probably get quite a bit of fur from you. Is the hope, anyways. Seriously? Wow. Bam. Bam. Oh, finally. Finally, finally, finally. Let's get the skinny knife out. Thick hide. Ooh, thick hide and fur. You know what? If I can get a mount from you, exotic flesh, thick hide. Hmm. At the very least, these are a lot easier to fight than the elephants way easier to fight than the elephants. Let's get rid of the wolf pelt. We're still at 102. Ugh. We, I guess we can get rid of some of that. Uh, we can get rid of the plant fiber. Some of this thick hide. Some... Oh, you almost died. <laughs> Anything else that I can think of right off this, the top of my head? Ugh. I guess we can get rid of that. Nope. Can we go ahead and get rid of something else? Ah, uh, that. We got plenty of leather. That's fine. Okay, let's keep going this way. I wanted to check out the old island. See if it's still standing. See if anything's changed with it. I feel like it probably has. Telus Island. Oh, it's nice to be back. Is that... Wait, hold on. Is that a bear cub? I think there's a bear cub over there. Hmm. I'm curious to see. There's also... There used to be a POI up here in these little ruins. 
And there also used to be a guy floating in the water over here. I wonder if these things are active now. Hopefully so. Okay, nice, beautiful patch of, patch of flowers. That's okay, yeah, wow. There is a bear cove over there. Nice. Anything else? Some lotus blossoms? A big old rock? Another bear cub? If there's, oh, there's mama. Hello, mama. Hmm. There's three of these cubs. Four of these. No, that's a coal. <laughs> I kind of want to see. Well, hold on. You know what? She's not aggroed on me. Are, are you, are you sweet? Are you sweet, little cub? I feel like you are. You're probably super, super cute. Oh my god. You are hideous. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> they did a really, really good job with these. Seriously, having cubs in here, awesome. If we could tame them, even better. Hello, mother. Wow, you are not a pretty lady. Discover what haunts the sanctuary ruins. I feel like I'm attacking some kind of a super important boss right now. Okay, well, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't be doing this so early on. Crap! My bed is so far away. Hold on. Heavy attack. Ooh, your face is marred up like a mofo. Oh, dodge. Ha ha. Nope. Uh-uh. You ain't gonna last this one. Ooh. Uh, nothing. Okay, I'm curious to see. We'll do one hit. Bear pelt. Hmm. I don't know what that does. Bear pelt and fur. Whoa, that is a lot of bear pelt and fur. Uh, you know what? Oh, wait. Did I need that? Hold on. Grab that. Oh, we're still good. Okay, I did need that, actually. I really, really needed that. Otherwise, I was going to die. Perfect. Now, let's see. A whole bunch of lotus blossoms. Any other traps in store for me? Ah, here we go. Oh, that's new. Oh, that is 100% new. Can I learn this? Can I make this? Stone. I picked up a stone. Plant seeds. Okay. Nice. You are not alone. You are not less than them. You can be free. You do not have to believe their lies. I have left these stones for you. My lost and misguided children. I have subverted their sorceries so that only slaves of the bracelet can hear my message. I am the mother of your race. I am Secret Bearer, God Killer, Witch Queen. I will guide you. I will teach you. And when the time is right, I will free you. So we found the Witch Queen. <laughs> that is amazing. I was going to try and take a screenshot, get rid of the the uh the hud there but it wasn't working huh dang it oh well we'll figure it out anyways that is so cool this thing was not working we now have a statue here Ooh, that was so cool i legitimately have a little bit of goosebumps right now not even kidding oh hey false mandrake seeds fantastic is there anything else over here that's super important she said she's linked herself to the mother of our race and some sort of something thing about linking herself to our bracelets only those who have bracelets there's got to be more to this story i can't wait to try and figure out what it is is there anything else that's just stone i feel like there's got to be something there's got to be oh and there's that guy that used to be down here in the water too is that still safe oh i'm glad i didn't just jump off that are we good kind of sort of ah perfect here we go he was right around here Hmm. I'm going to kind of see if I can find this guy really quickly. He used to float. Right in here. I feel like I might be going on a little bit of a wild goose chase. But for those of you who watched the last series, you definitely know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know if that's just a random body that was supposed to be here, or if there were going to be some ghosty things, or what. But there definitely used to be a guy that was floating in the water right around here. Hmm. Okay. Well, you know what? That's all right. We'll figure it out. 
Maybe that's just something that's not supposed to be there. It was never supposed to be there. Looks like that's probably what it was. Dang. I was hoping that that was going to be something really important and that I figured it out before anybody else. That never happens. <laughs> Looks like the camp's still here. And you know what? There is not a single animal between Telus Island and right here. Matter of fact, from the other side, the main little middle area, all the way over here, not a single animal. <laughs> it is completely night and day difference. That is crazy. What are you? Kushite Archer. This is the black hand, guys. Okay, the pocket. Don't know why it's called a pocket. Hey, I'm killing this guy under the tent. Maybe... Oh, that is super, super weird. Looks like you're a tier 3 archer. Remember there being a lot of archers around here. Hmm. Some arrows. Nothing super important. How's my stamina? You're Darfari Archer. These guys don't seem to be acting right. They're not even interested in me. You should be, you idiot. Bam. And last one. Ooh, can I can I get him under the tent? Nope, not working. Okay. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Arch over one. Not a problem. Okay, maybe it might be a problem. Ah, oh, dad gum, stupid tents. I'll just hide behind this tree. That'll be fine, right? Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go, stupid. You chose the wrong day to get out from underneath the tent. Or maybe you didn't. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh, a note. We need this. Purified water. Sarko's instructions. Water orb. Bark. Crap. I don't need all of this. There we go. Bam. Yes. Beautiful. Anything in... Where's that chest? Was that the chest that I was looting? No, that was the guy that I was looting. Hmm. Where the heck did the chest go? Am I losing my mind right now? Probably. I don't see a chest. I could have swore there was a chest right here. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Mm. I'm crazy. I'm officially crazy. It's fine. <laughs> I think it's about time we finally go back to the base, though. This is about as much of the north as I've wanted to have. Everything's put away in the right spot. Got all the dye stuff in here, all the seeds. Ah, this is going to be nice. Oh, we've also got some purified water and then Seleko's instructions, which I've yet to actually find that box. I don't know what's going to happen with that. Got some silver dust from killing a thrall on the way back. It's been really pretty effective. We've got some silver coins. I'm going to have to go to the set city. I'm pretty sure that's where it is. And eventually start buying some things from thralls. Apparently there's supposed to be some kind of thrall trading later on. That's what I've heard. I can't wait. I think that's going to be amazing. Got a whole bunch of dies already and a whole bunch of these instructions. Now, I don't think they stack. Scribbled notes, scrawled notes, so Laco's instructions, instructions. Let's see, do we have any others? We have four black hand shanties. Fantastic. <laughs> I don't know what that's going to be used for at all. Let's go ahead and take a look, though, at these dies. I think I'm either going to do strength or I'm going to do agility. Those are probably the ones I'm going to do. So let's see what it's going to take. I've got the fur here. So we're good with that. We've got dragon powder. We've got... We're going to need papyrus scrolls. Where the heck do I make those at? Papyrus scrolls. Uh, scroll. We'll try that. S-C-R-O-O-L. Nope. L-L. -L. I can't spell. Scroll. <laughs> Do I need to learn this? I think I do, actually. Decoration. Papyrus. Survival. Hold on a second. Let's try this. Uh, scroll. No, oh, it's right here. Artisan's work table. Aha! That totally makes sense. Let's go over here. Go down to... Huh. Notes. That's really cool. I'm gonna have to try that out. Do we have any extra plant fiber? We've got to. Oh yeah, we're fine. We're fine, we're gonna make this work out just beautifully. Uh, let's go ahead and do these. 
we'll just make 10. That, yeah, that's fine. That's right. Uh, small red shade cloth. I'm going to have to do these too. I think they're going to look really, really nice. Tusk trophy. I don't have that yet. I've got tusk, but I don't know if that's actually going to work. Ivory war horn. Ooh, a huge ivory war horn mounted on wooden frame. Nice. Is that very similar to the normal horn made of bones and wood? Or sticks, I should say. Looks like it is. Nice. Let's go ahead and grab these scrolls. Bring them over here. Move them into the cauldron. Now, what else are we going to need for strength? No, agility. I'm doing agility. I need the inking brush. I need yellow dye. Do I have yellow dye? Well, let's go ahead and make a... The heck was that? Slotting fluid? Ugh. Mixture of... For removing war paints. Huh. That's not something... Or you see every day. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> How many of these can we make? Let's make three. And it's only limited to our branches. Now, what can we burn? We've got to burn something in here. And then what kind of dye do we need? I don't remember. Strength. Agility, I mean. Agility. Agility. Euler. Yellow dye. Let's see if we have any of that. Hot dang, we had some yellow dye. That's fantastic. Agility, here we go. Let's craft one. Now, what else am I gonna be, oh, gotta hit play button. There we go. Oh, that's super, super fast. Where's this thing gonna be? Now, how do I do this? Give, give all info. Let's hit info. Durability is 3,600. What the heck? <laughs> some war paints are designed to be prayers to the gods, infusing the wearer with the strength and skill. Some war paints are merely decorative, worn to show allegiance or affiliation with a clan. Wearing this war paint will increase the agility of the wearer. Hmm. I don't... I wonder if I can actually wear more than one of these things. Like, can I wear decorative and then one that's actually used for something else? That's a skill point type deal? That's vitality. Light green dye. Interesting. Black hand. Darfari cannibals. Dogs of the Desert. I really would like to do Heirs of the North. That would be nice. Dark Red Dye. Do I actually have any of that? Let me see really quickly. Dark Red Dye. Nope. Do I have any Dark Colorant? Dark Dye Colorant. I do. Do I have any Red whatsoever? No. How the heck do I even make Red Dye? I don't know. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's just try this out. We'll see, how does this work? No. I feel like I might mess this up. No. No. <gasps> oh, wow. I just right clicked it. Wow. Uh, huh. What the heck is on my body? <laughs> uh, let's just get naked. Well, I guess we can put that back on. Wow. Hello, war paint. Um, some of that's kind of unique. I'm not sure I like the color, though. And I feel like as long as you can memorize the colors, because there's got to be different colors, right? Like, it's, this is supposed to be yellow, I think. Possibly. I've got, like, a nice little sick face tat. That's neat. I just wish I could change the colors, because otherwise you could kind of tell who's wearing what and what special ability stuff that they have or what they're lacking in. Oh, all the strategies of that. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, to be entirely honest with you. But you know what? We're just going to go ahead and make this work. I don't know. Let's take a look really quickly at my statisticals. Plus three. Hmm. Agility is a measure of you, but okay. So we got plus three out of that. And I already have a level. How the heck did I gain a level, another level? I don't remember that. Falling damage is heft. Hey, there we go. So, plus three, that's 20. This is 20 as well. Hmm. And then that's 26. That's not half bad. That's not half bad at all. I'm probably going to leave this one and this one the same. Just leave it as is. Grit, strength, agility... All of those things are going to be moved up. 25% increased damage to enemies affected by negative status effects. Slice and dice. Each light attack you do inflicts 10% more damage. Each heavy attack now inflicts 25% more damage. 
Whenever your hit points fall below 25%, you deal 50% more melee damage. What the heck? That's super cool. Okay, well, I'm going to have to think about this because I don't know what I want to do. But I'm going to go ahead and call this the end of the episode, guys. We got some nice little war paint, we checked out the north, and we're making some really good headway. With all of these abilities, I'm going to have to check out and see if I can add a decorative war paint to this. I think, if I can, it's going to look really, really cool. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.